When the punches come off the back arm, you find that it's a little bit further to travel. That's good, it brings more power. But what you need to do is push the back ball of the foot into the floor, get the rotation and the follow through. So think about rolling your shoulders like you've got a little scratch in the middle of your back and you're giving it a little itch. That should help. Some of the hardest battles are done on the hardest days, but the best results is in the palm of your hand. Let's go. All right, nice little warm up for us today. Left foot forward, things are coming in fours. Left, right, left, right. And then double punch forwards. There we go. Four of these and then three double punches. So squeeze your shoulder blades together and thrust those fists forwards. Contract the core. All right, up top, left side, same arm, right side. Now jab cross. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left, left, right side, same arm. Good job. Did you get it? Cruising. So you're going to rotate across the line at the center point of the body, releasing the heel as you turn for those second punches. Back to the single T-strikes. Now ground yourself in a wide stance with those double punches forwards. It's like a push and a pull. Scapular retraction. Oh, that makes me sound clever, doesn't it? Pull your shoulder blades back together. Lift the chest nice and proud. Exhale. Good job. Well, let's do that on the right-hand side. Put your dukes up. You're going to be starting with those T-strikes. Right side, left side, right side, left side. Yep. Little fingers. Now, doubles. Those doubles, you know, when I was growing up, I played a lot of basketball. So to me, it's a little bit like a chess pass. The same thing. You're breathing out as you punch forward. Now, again, there's no power here. We just want to warm up the shoulders. Just connect with the feeling as the targets and the music all are coming at us. Corners to the corners, down the middle. Eight, seven, six, five. You've got the picture. You're doing it. It's a little bit like that fairground game. You know, like the little rabbit pops up outside the hole and you've got to quickly get it before it goes back down. Well, no rabbits were hurt in the creation of this game. I'm just saying. Beautiful. Back to those chest passes. Pop it. Try this one. Take your stance right now. Take it wider. Sit down in like a half squat position. Brace your abs, squeeze your shoulder blades as you strike out, and you don't need to reach too far. Great, now there is one more round, very quickly coming to a wide front stance. Let's get the legs warm now. Squat down, slip left and right. Squat down, slip left and right. Chest is up, abs are braced. Keep your feet still, they never need to move now. Just a great way to lift the heart rate, warm up the glutes and the quads. Last one. You are ready for the training. Great work. All right, this is advanced. Turn it back yourself. Combat stance, left foot forward, double left hook. Whoa, double right hook. Low squat, T punch, chest punch. Do it again. Now it's your combo. So with that squat, remember toes out, knees out. Brace your abs, tuck your chin. Head in with the double hook. Think about punching from the hip, releasing the heels. Lift your elbow just a little more and strike through. It's fast, but it's also really good if you keep it short and powerful. Now we're going to dominate your left side with a low jab, uppercut, straight jab, sky punch. On repeat. Let's go. So this is how you learn to roll your shoulders. Low jab, uppercut, straight jab, sky punch. Down, up, through, up, down, up, through, up. Get them shoulders rolling, chest further away. We're going to put it all together. Jab, cross, eight, go. Dominate your left side. Double hooks. Here comes your low squat. Get down, tuck it in, do it again, go. There's some flow going on with the shoulders, and now you're holding your ground, hold your ground. Turn it in, turn it up, get low. 
All right, triple right knee is come off the back leg. Now triple jab, left, right, left. Do it again. So with that triple knee, get the heel to the butt, pull the elbow past the rib. Single knee, triple. Watch out for the uppers. Yeah, you're getting bougie, all right? We're gonna put it all together. What? Let's go, eight. Dominate your left side, hold your ground. Doubles. Squat. Incoming knees. Power up. Smash those circles, come on. Drive the hands past the ribs, past the thigh. Whoa, I'm just trying to keep up. Let's do it on the right side. Two right hooks, go. Left side. Now squat, T-punch, stand up, center. Hit it again. Now you know what you've got to do. We want to feel it in the shoulders, feel it in the legs, feel it in the core. Come on, now we're training. We are working out together. Elbows nice and high. That's going to give you great alignment. Beautiful footwork. Now, new strike. We go down, up, middle, sky. Down, up, middle, sky. We're dominating the right side. That first target that's slightly angled down, that is a low downward jab that sets you up to roll the shoulder in the uppercut, then the center punch, then the sky. All right, come on. What do we got? Let's put it together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Come on, dominate. Two hooks. Back on the left side. Now, quick squat go. T, stand up. Love it. Nailed it. It's okay to miss a few reps. That's normal. This is advanced. It's pretty quick. It's tricky. All right, now, grab for rear knee. Put the weight on the front leg. Yep. Awesome. And three, two, one. Now, pull the elbows down past your thigh. Back to the jabs. Now we're going to single the knee, jabs. Single the knee, uppercuts. Come on. Grab, pull, strike. A one, two, three. Grab, pull, strike. Uppers. Woo! Eight, seven, six, five. Right side, dominate. Hit it. I don't know about you, but my lungs are on fire. I'm breathless. I feel winded. Come on, nail it. Push through. Come on, be the master. Up, up. Oh, winner, winner. All right, let's start in a left combat stance. Hands up. All right, quick. Double left jab, double right cross. Go. Now, power hooks. Left and right. Now, jab cross, upper, upper. Slip right and left. What? Yep, squat out the way. Stand up and hook. Repeat it, repeat it from the top, go! Look at that, I told you, it was gonna test you, and it is exciting. You are absolutely incredible. I am so impressed by you. I'm impressed by your speed, by your power, by your control, by your effort. You are relentless. Great, get the shoulders out the way, come on. Okay, quickly, get into a wide front stance. This one's going to blow your mind. Low squat, stay down. Eight jabs, go. Left and right. Eight, seven, six. Now, hammer, out. Great. Stay down, slip left. Stay down, slip right. Stay down, left. Stay down, right. What was that? What was that? Next time you do it, stay in the squat. Don't come up. All you've got to do is slip to the left but you're staying in the squat pattern. And now you should feel the side of your waistline. Grab the knee, change to the right, back onto the left. I love it. It's a combination of kickboxing and boxing. Throw a bit of fitness in there, and hello, you are a Terminator. Just don't get me, all right? I'm on your side. Punches. Come on, fitness punches now. This is just a training section, no combinations, just everything you've got. One, two, one, two, one, two, you got it, you got it. Back up stairs from the knees, oh, oh yeah! I like to think of these as Muay Thai knees. A grab, pull, strike, shoulders back, brace abs to support the lower back. Boom! Let's say we do it again, but we really smash this side. Doubles, go. Are you getting precision? Are you moving your body around these targets? 
Let's pretend that right now you are the most powerful version of you. There's nothing that can stop you. The freedom to move. Whatever's thrown at you, you're gonna smash it. Just like that, like you're doing right now. Moving your body around. Hooking and ducking. Good job, people. Let's go front stance. Oh, this one blows my ears back. You're down for a while, but it's worth it. Let's go. Right in front of you and right out in your peripheral vision. Trust yourself. Now stay down and slip. This is awesome oblique training. Look in those muscles at the side of the core. Stay down. Get out the way. Woo! That's so good. Come up, knees. Release the knees. Oh, hey, jelly legs or what? Like Dan said, Muay Thai. There's a whole lot of power in that knee drive. It feels good to get out of the legs, but it feels even better to use them. So slam the controllers past the side of the legs. Drive the heel to the butt. And let's punch. Get some flow going. Get some flow going. The freedom in cardio. Freedom in you, baby. Knees. So now you're really sweating. Woo! This is quality time, well spent. You made it here, you're gonna make it work. Big blue target! You've been working on your technique, and that's what's getting you up there to 90%. Keep at it.